Hey there, students. This is your homework helper for Lesson 13. Um, lesson 13 is really about dividing and beginning to divide decimals by single, uh, single digit whole numbers. And so what we have for you today is just a few strategies um, to, to help you understand the place value of everything here and understand um, just kind of what's going on behind the scenes, okay? So um, we're going to start off by looking at a couple of problems, all right? Um, if we have a uh, place value chart, and uh, I'm going to want to have, I'm going to want to have one thousandths and one hundredths and tenths and ones, and here's my big old decimal place here. And uh, what I want to do is let's start off. Let's start off by putting in. Um, let's just have nine nine discs or nine dots in uh, tenths. So we're going to do nine tenths, all right? And I'm just going to put nine tenths here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's, um, this can represent nine tenths, right? Um, because there's nine in, in each one there. And um, what I want to do is uh, I want to put those nine tenths, put them into three equal groups. So three equal groups, uh, each one would get um, three. And I know that because three equal groups, if I count by three to get to nine, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that would be three in each group. Um, if you think about if you had nine apples and you had three kids, how many apples would each kid get? Each kid would get three apples. Teachers love to talk about apples and kids. Um, so how many, ultimately I split those up, those are nine tenths, okay, so I'm going to write that on uh, over here, I'm going to write nine tenths, so nine tenths, I need to go a little smaller, that's going to take up too much space, so um, nine tenths, and then when I uh, divide it by three, or put it into three groups, how many, how many is going to be in each group, well there's one, two, three, um, but that three is three tenths, right? So I have three tenths um, in in each group, um, and if I write this differently, if I write this down, if I say nine tenths, if I use this in unit form, um, nine tenths divided by three. Uh, if I put it that way, then it, it starts to become a little bit easier for me to see. Uh, I'm not so worried about my decimal place and the zero here, and, and I'm not I'm really more. Uh, I, I, it's more easy for me to find out now and see that it's just really nine divided by three. It makes it simpler. So nine divided by three. Well, I know the answer to that. I can count by threes to get to nine, and that's three. Um, and that would equal three. But we're we're dealing with tenths. It's not nine. It's nine tenths divided by three. So nine tenths divided by three is just three, and then it's tenths because that's the unit that I'm using when I'm dividing. So um, let's, let's try again with another example here. I'm going to clean this up for a second. I don't want to erase my place value chart. So let's try, let's try another one here. Okay. Um, let's try 24 tenths. All right. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to make 24 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There's 24 tenths, all right? Now, um, if I wrote that differently, I had 24 tenths is, is this, 24 tenths, right? And I can do this, 24 tenths. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I need to put them into groups of four. Excuse me, groups of four. Four. So I'm going to divide by four. Okay. I need to put them into um, four, not the groups of four, Mr. Abbott, but four equal groups. Please excuse me. I need to put them into four equal groups. Okay. So four. Uh, I have four students. I have 24 things and four students. So uh, how many? Uh, how many things does each student get? And uh, if I wasn't sure, I could count by fours. I could count by fours to get to 24. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There it is. And that's six. So I would put these into groups of six. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right here. 
Okay, that's one group. And one, two, three, four, five, six. There's another group. So that's two group, two, two groups. I mean four. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my third group. And here's my fourth group. So I have one, two, three, four, four groups with equal parts in, in inside of them. And um, each one of those we figured out was one, two, three, four, was five, was six things. Um, equals and I know that my six things here are um, are tenths right 24 divided by 4 this is 6 um, and I know that those things are tenths and they're tenths because right they're in there so uh, so six tenths would be sorry uh, so I can do better than that I can do better than that uh, like that there we go okay so six tenths so um, when we're when we're dividing um, two things I want you to take away from this model here. Number one is we're you know we're putting we're putting these these units into groups of whatever this is. So the 24 tenths. I'm putting it into groups of uh, sorry not groups of. I'm putting it into equal groups into four equal groups. And um, gosh, I made that mistake twice. Sorry. And uh, down here when I write it in unit form, uh, sometimes it's easier for me to see that it's really just um, it makes it more of a regular problem, uh, 24 divided by 4, rather than worrying about decimals. So, um, so when you're doing this, try to use the unit form because it can possibly make things easier. Okay, all right. Well, let's keep and let's keep going. Let's try. Let's up the ante a little bit here. Um, if I have, if I have uh, this problem, that's divided by. Sorry, I'm kind of got caught up there. I'm saying um, I have one and five tenths divided by five. Uh, one and five tenths, uh, five groups. Uh, if I use this in unit form, it makes it a little bit easier. And I want you to think about that. I know I have five. I know this is fifteen. Um, and that makes it more manageable for me. 15, I can see that, and I can divide that, put that by fives. Uh, so when we put things in unit form, it sure makes things a little bit easier. So this would be 15 tenths. And now if I divide that by five, well, I know that I can count by fives, 5, 10, 15. That gives me 3. And what unit am I using? I'm using tenths. So three tenths, um, and so that gives me an answer. Um, let's try. Let's give it another example. Um, okay, 105 divided by 5. 105 um, is, is one and five hundredths here, but it's really it's 105, 105 hundredths, right? divided by 5. Now, if I knew, if I could off the top of my head, um, if I knew that this was um, divisible by 5 and I could count by 5s to get up to 105 and I could get my total, that would be one way to do it. And you certainly can do that. But another way we can do things do things here is to decompose uh, these numbers, okay? And uh, if you're decomposing something, we're taking it apart, putting it into little pieces. So uh, let's, let's just start, let's just start here. This is 105 hundredths. Right, but um, another way that I can look at that is by saying, well, this is no, sorry, I asked for another color, it just didn't give me the other color. Um, I could say this is ten what? It's ten what? It's it's ten tenths, right? That's ten tenths, and then here I have um, five hundredths left, right? And ten tenths and five hundredths is another way of me, uh, another way of me saying uh, one hundred and five hundredths or uh, all that. So, so we've taken those numbers apart, we've decomposed them, and now after I decompose them, now I can actually do the math. Um, I want to do both of those divided by five. So, um, ten tenths divided by five, or ten divided by five is two. That would be two tenths. And five divided by five, any number divided by itself is going to be one. So five hundredths divided by five would be one hundredth. Awesome. So now I can just put these two things together. I have two tenths and one hundredth. And that gives me my answer. 
So when I come back up here, equals 21 hundredths, okay? So you can decompose in order to make things slightly easier on yourself. Let's try another one then, see how this works. I have um, 3 and 15 thousandths. Let's do this one divided by 5. And uh, we're going to try and decompose it again. I know um, when I'm looking at 5s here, I can't, uh, this, this one doesn't work, but if, because uh, 5 doesn't go into 3, um, I, I can't count by 5s to get to 3, right? 3 is too small. Um, but if I look at this, if I look at this here, I know that I can count by 5s to get to 30. So I'm going to break, I'm going to break this 30 out and I'm going to bring it over here. And this is 30, and this is my tenths place, so this is going to be 30 tenths. And then I'm left with this here. It's 15. Um, and this is right here is my thousandths place, so I know it's going to be 15 thousandths. Out. Excuse me. So now I can do both of those divided by 5. Um, 30 divided by 5, I can count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, that would be 6, so 6 what? 6 tenths, because that's the unit, five div 15 divided by 5, 5, 10, 15, it's 3, the unit is thousandths, so now I just add these two puppies up, Six tenths looks like that, right? Three thousandths looks like this. Three thousandths, both of those together. So then I can add that up here. My answer would be sixty-three hundredths. Okay, breaking these things down, putting them into manageable groups, manageable units, something that makes it easier for you to understand. Um, it's definitely going to help when it comes to um, dividing these numbers. Okay, the last thing is uh, something that I want you to understand as well is uh, 4 and, let's say 4 and 8 tenths divided by 6 equals 8 tenths and 48 divided by 6 uh, equals 8. And if I look at these two, um, they both they both involve the digits 4 and 8 and 6 and uh, the answer is both, they're similar because they both uh, have the number 8, the digit 8. Um, the only difference is uh, this here, this one, is, uh, is 10 times the value of this one here, right? Uh, 4 and 8 tenths is, uh, is 10 times less than 48. Um, so what I want you to understand then is it doesn't necessarily matter about the, the place value of the decimal point. As long as you understand what units are being divided, you could always go back and do it at the end. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take, let's take a peek here. Let's do, um, if I have this, divided by 8. Um, 4 and 8 tenths divided by 8. If I just if I just got rid of that, if I just took that out, um, and I just did, you know, 408 divided by 8, could I do that? Well, yeah, sure. 8 goes into, I'm going to do the same thing here. 8 goes into 40, okay? How many times? Well, that's 5, and so that would be, uh, that would actually be right here, the 50. Yeah, 50 meaning that's what the, that's what the value of the 5. Um, so I got my 5 there, and then 8 divided by 8, well, that's 1. Um, and so then I know that this is 51. Now, I was dealing with, um, I was dealing with 4 and 8 hundredths here. So then I would need to figure out, well, what's the realistic uh, placement for, my, for my, my decimal? If I have 4 of something, 4 apples, let's say, um, and I'm dividing them amongst 8 different things. I know my I'm going to have less than an apple. I'm not going to have a full apple. So um, that tells me that my answer here, 51, it's not five apples. It's not going to be here. It's definitely not going to be 51. The realistic placement for this would be would be that, and I could do that. Another strategy for, for doing something like this along the same lines is to say, well, look, um, when it, before I do my dividing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk it out. I'm going to move this decimal over here, here. I'm going to move it twice over so that once I get my answer of 51, um, yes, that's a 5. Uh, scrap it, 51. Uh, once I get that, then I can, I walked it out, I walked it back to this way, so I got to walk it back out, and then I can put it there. So whatever I do here, I need to do there the same. 
all right? And that's a big trick for when you're dividing decimals as well. So um, today during, during this lesson, um, we learned that, uh, number one, putting things in unit form is going to be helpful because instead of something looking like this uh, divided by 9, really I can just say, well, I have 45 hundredths divided by 9, and that to me is much more manageable. Um, we also learned that, um, that if I uh, have something that's tricky, like let's say, uh, let's say 45 and um, 45, 64 divided by 9, uh, that I can decompose, okay? Uh, decomposing is an easy way to uh, break the number apart and make it more manageable because then I can do uh, 45 um, ones divided by 9 and I can do 64 hundredths I like how I did that hundredths uh, divided by 9 as well and that would also give me an answer but that makes it more manageable to try and say well 45 64 divided by 9 that's a whole bunch okay and then the last thing we learned was that uh, ultimately as long as you realize what value you're working in place value is, is um, of the decimal place uh, is, is not necessarily as important as just the division of the numbers because you can always go back in and find the reasonable spot to put the decimal. So um, I hope this helps. If you have questions, you can post them in the comment section. You can also um, bring your, your questions to class. And uh, good luck. And I hope you guys have a great night.